amplifying you. So before injury, I actually was a dancer. I, I was a mainly salsa dancer. I used to teach, compete, and perform. Um, I also did hip hop and ballroom, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> One day, I was riding my bicycle to work in downtown Miami. And I had a waitress job at the, at the time. I had a car, I didn't need to ride my bicycle, but I wanted to take a ride. It was a sunny day, Sunday, 3 p.m. I have the green light to cross the street. As I take the green light, the car ran a red light and hits me. So technically, I'm paralyzed from my belly button down. I mean, this isn't my first obstacle in life, it's, but it's my biggest one. Um, so it's, I mean, it is an adventure. It's an adventure and it's a learning experience and it's just part of life. It's just going through obstacles and being over to overcome it and showing people that it's possible. I want them to know that it's not over, you know? There's so much more. My first thing that I started with was I told myself I have to conquer one fear a day. It kind of became a game. I started doing things on purpose that scared me. Every single day, I have to do the best that I can do. Um, push through when I'm tired, and if you fall, it's about how fast can you recover. Because when you actually push through those moments, that's when you actually see the results come up. Guy is my angel because he believes in me. His passion for what he does. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Like he wants to make a difference, and he's definitely making a difference. I can see it with other people and in my own life, I feel it. I think the XOGT has reminded the body how it's supposed to move and it also has reminded me mentally on the motion of walking. What I really like about it is that it like okay I can do my best with walking with a walker but it doesn't mean that I'm walking in the correct posture so the machine basically helps me to walk in a good straight posture. I'm not thinking about what's wrong with me or, you know, I'm just looking at all the things that I actually do enjoy and I know if I smile and somebody else smiles back at me, that's already right there creating some kind of positive energy. The positive energy comes from finding the positive things in life and there's just so much of it that people take for granted, I guess. There's a whole bunch of blessings everywhere. Take the next step with us.